Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. This is Scrotitis and we are in uh, my house. How you doing? Um, I wanted to give you guys a look because we have a new addition here. If you couldn't tell, I will tell you what it is. We have an ender chest and we got it full of all sorts of goodies that we're going to need for our next project. All right. Um, yes, I know that the cow farm is not complete yet, but uh, I need to take a break from it for the time being. I'm a little, a little stressed out. Those cows getting out the other day was just too much for me to handle. Um, we're actually going to be traveling at night, which isn't the best, but uh, we will uh, do what we got to do. Uh, I actually uh, did some scouting last night and found a wonderful plot of land that uh, I actually want to begin uh, construction of a mob spawner at. Uh, now it is not close enough for it to spawn while we're at spawn working on things which is sort of an issue for me but not a hundred percent. Um, I'm thinking I could spend time there just AFK, uh, plus I'm also thinking about possibly expanding my base, or not technically expanding, but creating a, a, a base of my own, uh, uh, the guys on the server, Steve over, has a base over there, um, Fuzzy Cub has his wooden, uh, forest structure, so I was thinking maybe I would go ahead and, and branch off and have one of my own at this new location. So that's a possibility as well. But um, we need to get there first. So, oh, messed up my symmetry there. So, first things first, I, it is in this direction. It's through a swamp and right on the outskirts of actually some extreme hills. So, let's walk right along this path. I would like to just extend this, if possible, all the way there. So, let's see where this is going to take us. We will probably run into op some opposition. But uh, if we do, we will strike them down with fury. I don't know. Something like that. Um, it's pretty much right along this way. I should have checked the coordinates first. Is what I really should have done. But uh, it's not that far of a walk, guys. So if you just stick with me here, we'll be there momentarily. Uh, unfortunately, we are leaving the desert and the uh, winter areas, uh, uh, Taiga, I believe, is that area. So we are going to have to deal with rain once again, which always stinks. But boom, get out of here. Boom. Oh. He boomed us, I guess. That's all right. Uh, I don't know if you guys also noticed, but my inventory uh, has quite a bit of diamond tools in it. Oh, take that. These guys stink. You stink. Oh, I, oh, I'm trying to stay on the line. I forgot. <laughs> um, and that's because I'm tired of repairing this stuff. And since I have my Fortune 3 pick now, I've been silk touching the diamonds that I find and uh, increasing my numbers so I don't have to be as stingy as we once were. And I wonder if this is a different... Uh, no, we'll check it out later. I don't feel like dealing with those guys either. This is probably the worst time to travel ever. You know what, buddy? Die. Die, 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 die. Die. These stupid slimes are going to waste all my sword. But that's right, because then I can show you my new sword. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and fast forward through this, guys, real quick. I just want to show you the plot of land that I found really really cool uh, traveling at night like I said before not the best idea I've lost my uh, lost my helmet already Ugh. I need to eat should be right over this hillside I don't remember being much further Oh, we're getting so many slime balls because of the looting sword, aren't we? <laughs> I just realized that we have a looting sword on. Is this it? No, this isn't it. 
Um, the, the reason I thought it may have been is because we are surrounding a body of water. There's a lot of water over here. Ah, I see one of my torches. Right over there, guys. We're almost there. Should have sheared one more sheep so I could have made a bed. Here we go. Here it is, guys. You'll see why I picked it here. Well, the first thing is because it's an enormous mass of water. And uh, the purpose of that being I want to build a mob farm but I want to build it specifically so that we can um, so that we can have endermen and what's endermen's worst enemy water so that's why we built it here um, the other pl other key is these arms these are not permanent arms I just want to let you know that right off the bat but these are built out exactly 32 blocks from this center point um, and that reason being that Enderman can tr can um, teleport exactly 32 blocks so I'm thinking this is going to be the rough size of the base it is going to be circular I'm kind of on a circular kick now guys if you've been watching my tech it series you, you'd see that but uh, it's going to go right up there in the sky uh, we're going to start with a basic level I think a smaller circle for our living and then we're going to have above it the platform for the, our, our mobs to sm fall into and then above that we're going to have a big old circle that they're going to be spawned on so let me go ahead and uh, get to work here on some platforms and uh, what do we got yeah, we got some of these I thought I had some oh look at that I got three wow that was a generous sheep so, first things first, guys. Let's go ahead. I really don't want to ruin... Oh, these are going to be messed up anyway, aren't they? Let me see real quick. Is that going to be messed up? Yep, it is. Dang it! Hmm. Because it's too deep. That's going to be a pain in the butt to fix. Well, that'll be something I'll do off-camera, guys. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead and get a small platform built up. And um, I'll get right back to you. All right, guys. We're back after uh, <laughs> two very embarrassing deaths that I did not record. Uh, we're back, and we've got a small structure built here. I think it'll it'll work for the time being. Um Let's check it out from a distance just so you can get a feel of what we did here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you can get a feel for what we did here. And this is by no means uh, our main base. It's just some place to start. So you see it's elevated um, off of the ground. The height of which it stands is two and a half blocks. Uh, it's well lit by all these torches, so nothing could spawn, but it's only two and a half, so Endermen can't spawn into it. Uh, it's also a dual-purpose death trap, because I can't get out either. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is what we've got. But the key thing that we brought with us is our Ender chest, which is full of all of our goodies here that we had to exploit to uh, get ourselves out of our embarrassment. Uh, but uh, we're not going to mention that. We've also got a regular chest here that we can throw all of our junk in. So let's see here what we're not going to need. All right. So first things first, I think what we need to do is uh, we need to build up from here. And we need to get our our levels sort of measured out. So let me go ahead and take care of that. Um, and we'll see where we stand at that point. Okay. Okay, so we've got one, two, three to here. Okay, easy enough, right? Oh, okay, leave bed. Three to there. We'll just set our spawn. Four. Five, six. Okay, 
So, the rule with Endermen is that they can teleport 32 blocks. Uh, if there is a block within 32 that is eligible. Okay, so we need to build our dying platform 32 blocks from the surface of this water. And they'll see that those are the only blocks eligible and they're water, so they won't transfer, so they'll die. So this was six blocks. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, we need to put ladders on the side of this while we're going up. We're at ten right now. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, uh, I lost count, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, call it 31 and 32. That may be off um, by a lot. I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can do this better than I did down below, guys. We're going to go through a lot of ladders on this project, I think. And I should have brought sand. It would have made for these pillars a lot better. Uh, oh. Okay. Well, hey, that wasn't that bad, huh? Okay. So that's that. Let me go ahead and start building our next level. All right, guys. Here we are standing at the top of the world. <laughs> I mean, this is actually really awesome. Look at that that mountain right there. This, this is Extreme Hills, if you guys couldn't tell by the landscaping. And we are right now at Y124. Now, I believe it goes to... 256 so we've got lots of building room still but what we've gone ahead and done is if you see the cement down there or the stone brick not cement uh, stone brick down there that is 25 blocks from where we stand now I'll explain why um, a skeleton just spawned right there we should have put torches down and then that platform is 32 blocks from the surface of the water okay so what we're trying to do an effect here Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Right? I think that's right. Um, what we're what we're effectively doing is we're this is the lowest level of our or this is where the the mobs will be spawned at. Uh, we're going to have a drop reset two blocks below this, which is why the, we're at 25 and not 23. Um, or no, one block below this. And then that level is going to have water, which is going to funnel all of our items to the center. Uh, ideally, that should work, I believe. In my head, it works. So <laughs> we're just going to have to see... Um, how it works in person we may actually end up doing a lava blade I'm not sure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen okay now what we're doing is this is gonna be our largest circle so let me go ahead. I'm actually going to do this, but I'm going to do it in um, double time because I don't need to bore you guys with me counting the 17 or doing the border. Okay, so here we go.
guys, so it's starting to rain, thunderstorm, we're in the clouds, and we've got half our circle done. Um, let's check it out from down below. Oh, who says that you need ender balls? All you need is a whole mess of water down below, and you can just free fall from anywhere. Uh, all right, let's see. Here, let's get up here before we take uh, drowning damage. We did it. Okay. So let's look up and see. Looks like half a circle to me. What do you guys think? What, what that basically is, is it's 16 blocks from the middle, then 4, 3, 2, and then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's how each quadrant's going to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish that up off camera and build up our circle. And then I'll get back to you guys once we're ready to actually do our platforms and what our mobs are going to be spawning on. All right? This is a lot more work than I had initially thought it was going to be. I uh, did a test run in Creative, and it wasn't that difficult. And then I realized that in Creative, I could fly. And in uh, Survival, I cannot. So this is going to be real fun, guys. So I'm going to jump off. I'm going to go up and start finishing our circle, hopefully. Whoa, did you guys see that lightning right there? Uh, I'm going to go ahead up and finish our circle, though. Show you the, the mob the mob spawning platforms when we get back, okay? All right, guys. Hey, we're back, and we've gotten a lot of work done, uh, as you can see. Up above, we're going to go check it out. It is, of course, raining again because I picked the wettest biome there is, apparently. We are in... Extreme Hills, which I wouldn't have thought would have been that wet of a place, but apparently it is. So, first of all, this level has not changed whatsoever. This is going to be our, quote, unquote, uh, for lack of a better term, our kill level, we're going to call it. This is where they're going to fall to their death, whether it be um, just falling or if we're going to have... I think we're going to have to do something with water and lava blades, I think. Um... We might be able to do ice. I wonder if we do ice and water. No, because the mobs wouldn't die from the fall then. I don't know. We're going to have to figure this level out still. But let's go ahead up and look at what we got done. I kind of did a couple quadrants here so I can show you the different phases of the build. Okay. So, here we go here. Let's start over here. All right, this is the shell of the build, okay? And basically what we did is that we built the circle out to this level here, and we built in from it. So we built two, three, a width of three boards, and we'll show you why in a second. Up and then up here, the, it, it, it is a total of three blocks high. The roof will be one higher than that, and... Let's see, I'm going to do the roof with stone. I'm not sure how we're going to start the first block. I'm going to do it like this. Right, like that. There's your first block down. And we'll just cover it all manually like this. So we'll have a, a, a clear indicator of the levels in between. Okay, and, and that'll be over the entire top so that it's dark all over. Um, but as you can also see, we built it in wood, but we have two sides here where we're going to be spawning mobs from. But then also, we went down two blocks. And that's why we, we measured 25 up from the kill level down there instead of what we usually do because we're going to have a drop resetter right here. All right, so let's go over to one of the other sides here. I think this side. Is this it? Yeah, here we go. So the next step is setting up this bottom, the drop setter that I just spoke about. And we have a dirt ring here that um, allowed us to do this. And what, we, what you've got here is these um, stone buttons, which basically have no effect on anything and we do have some redstone workings but their circuit is actually shared with the pressure pad so it has no effect these buttons also don't have a collision 
so when something falls down, they're not going to get hung up on the buttons. Okay, and so to do this drop reset, um, basically all it is, oh, you know what I did not think of? If we're doing a drop reset, that's probably because we're going to have upper levels, so we can't, hmm. we may not want to do brick. Eh, I'll think about that <laughs> in a second. Um, but what this does is it resets a, fall, a mob's fall no matter where they fall from. If it was just this level, this wouldn't be necessary. But this allows us to build up from here so that we have more mob, mob spawning pads. Now in terms of uh, efficiency or uh, use of blocks, this is far from the most efficient. Um, each quarter, uh, we do have three... 7, 14, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 34 spawn blocks on each quarter. And this circle has obviously four quarters, so 34 times 4, 120, 132. That's not bad. 132 spawns, um, spawning spots is not bad. And then add a level, and you can obviously double that number and you know, the math from there. But let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and show you the next step, which would be the wiring here. Okay, and, and it, it's it's really as simple as this. This uh, setup is actually identical to the setup of a uh, Ender Farm for Enderman, which is why it's going to be perfect for us to use Enderman. And the reason I copied that type of build style is because um, we are building this to spawn Enderman as well as normal mobs. And... With, uh, with Endermen, they are unable to be pushed by water. They won't go in it. They'll die. So um, that's why we have we use this, uh, this technique here. Okay? So um, the main thing to note here is how we've alternated repeaters and uh, regular redstone wires. And why we did that is so that if it let's just say here we have we have one redstone dust here to demonstrate if this was here then if i'm on one all of these are pushing so then as they push that's going to disable all these other mob spots for spawning so we want only one piston to be pushed at a time and that's why we've done this uh alternation between repeaters and uh dust now we also needed the repeaters because of these corner blocks here where if we had a dust it would be connected to both this piston or this this uh pressure pad and this one so that's why we have uh the repeaters like so and the the uh format on this side is um repeater because it's touching two every block that it has that that uh it touches to it must be a repeater and not redstone dust so that's why you see the pattern that we have here now the next phase is what I've started here and that is putting the sticky pistons in and you'll see how they work just like that so I'm a mob and I spawn right here ideally I'm gonna get pushed off here and the way it's set up right now I wouldn't be and you would say well what would stop a mob from spawning in this spot here? Uh, nothing except for the fact that there's going to be a block. And let me show you where that block is going to be. Right there. So when they step on that block, it's going to push, and they're going to be knocked down. Pretty simple, I think so. But uh, simple but effective. And I've run into a problem here. I've sort of painted myself into a corner okay <laughs> almost didn't um, the key to uh, building this style is the use of the shift key because without it I most certainly would have fallen to my death multiple times so that is that uh, once we have the pistons here and the pistons should be actually the very last step that you put in what I'm doing here because 
Otherwise, you're going to knock yourself off as soon as you do the wiring if you have the pistons in first. It's just, it, it, it's really bad. Uh, <laughs> it's a bad combination. Ideally, what you would want to do is actually um, do these blocks first as well. But if you do it like this... Actually, I want to see if I can get that side. No, I can't get that side. But if you do it like this, then you're not really a danger of the pistons knocking you off. Which works out nicely. Nobody likes to fall to their death. It's just embarrassing. And speaking of falling to their death, have you guys seen the... Uh, why is that one triggering? Um, that one shouldn't be triggering. Huh. Did you guys see that? Alright, there's that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Why is that doing that? I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here, guys. I think that's all the basic information about this technique, this style. Oops. And, um, I need to think of, whoa, <laughs> holy cow. Um, let's do something crazy here, guys. What do you say? Three, two, one. I'm a mob, and I spawned. Ah! ah we still have our walkway here that will save us, but, uh, we're getting dangerously close to this thing being active, guys. So let me go ahead and, um, meet you back down at our hut there, okay? Alright guys, so we're back down here, and I'm actually going to call this an episode as we are now. Um, I've been busy down below caving and trying to light up all the tunnels that we have, and, and in doing so, we're getting some pretty nice loot as well. But, um, like I said, we're, we're about out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and call the episode now. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying what we're doing here. Um little bit different type of mob spawner than what you've seen in the past. I'm going to continue working on this uh, off camera because there's a lot of work. It's really time involved. A lot of resources needed. Um, so yeah, the, it, it, it's a big project, but one that I hope you guys are enjoying and uh, one that hopefully works out well for us. If you have any suggestions for me on how we can go about completing this, uh, I'm more than... than uh, welcome to those ideas uh, and I do want to just throw the image in your head here before we go that this thing is going to be completely covered with water when we're completed and it's going to be pouring down over the sides which I think is going to look really cool but um, alright that's going to do it uh, for me today guys I hope you enjoyed the episode hope you learned a little bit I did as usual so this has been another Minecraft this is Scrotitis, and I look forward to hanging out with you in the next episode, fellas. We'll see you.